Cheers, and welcome to another episode of Cheap Wine Girls. I'm Allie. And I'm Alex. And today we'll be reviewing a red wine, a Cabernet. It's American. It's a quail oak Cabernet, and it does not have a vintage year. I don't know if you can see the bottle here, but it is hopelessly vague. Or maybe if we want to be optimistic, hopefully vague. Mm -hmm. And maybe in order to make it cheap, it's a really great wine that is of a great vintage from a really great region. $4.49, so under $5. I mean, mm -hmm. this is potentially a great bargain. Yeah. Um, but we got it on sale. We mm -hmm. got it for $2.21, so big discount. This is made from eco glass, lighter, smaller carbon footprint. So it's a thinner glass, but it's better for the environment. Yeah, so, so that's, that's great. Cool. Let's open this American Cabernet Sauvignon. Ooh. So the first thing I'm noticing is that it's a very light red wine. It is. It's, it's a not, very light red it's wine. It's not as dark as uh, most Cabernets that you might see. Raspberry colored, maybe. That's a good description. I'm totally getting a raspberry kind really? of cranberry scent. I I hear cranberry more than raspberry. Mm -hmm. It's also a little bit um, tobacco-y. It's kind of like that like smoky, no burning, just tobacco. Okay. Okay. That, like cranberry tobacco. Cranberry tobacco. Yeah. Great. Do you feel like there's a difference when you're putting your nose at the top of the glass versus the bottom of the glass? Like at the top of the glass, I actually get the raspberry that you were talking about. I'm definitely getting the tobacco you were talking about. Now. At the bottom? At the, at the top. Oh, at the top. So at the top of the glass, we just take, like, smell each other's thoughts. Huh. That's weird. Weird. Fruity and spicy. I'm sort of getting, like, a jalapeno on the nose. Jalapeno. You know, now that you say that. Right? That's making me want tacos. Mmm. Now the good part. Cheers. Cheers. Now that you said jalapeno, now I'm tasting spicy. Mm. I, I kind of taste spicy, too. I kind of like it. Actually, it's not as heavy as you would expect from a Cabernet. It doesn't have like the tanniny feel at mm -hmm. all. I can't stop thinking of spicy peppers now. It's also um, like burnt toast a little bit. That might just be something I made up because it sounded good. Yeah, that might be the case. It's definitely not fruity at all, I don't think. I think peppery but light. Maybe a little black pepper. A little black, black pepper, pepper. Yeah. a little spicy pepper, mm -hmm. but still pretty peppery. light. Peppery and light. Stunning, smooth, fruity, and peppery. Okay, well we get peppery, and I think smooth too. I think the lightness. We didn't really taste fruity, but that's okay. Yeah, we smelled fruity. Yeah. I mean, it's made from grapes, so it is fruity. We should move to finish. Mm -hmm. It kind of disappears for me. It's very light, it's very smooth. It's not a very complex wine. No, but I think it's But I feel good. like it's really easy to drink. I feel yeah. like it would be great for a barbecue. Maybe sort of. where you're eating food that's more flavorful than this wine will be. Yeah, very low maintenance wine. Totally. So overall, I would say I would probably buy this again. I would, especially if you can get that deal. Yeah, the 221 deal, amazing. I'm gonna say five stars. Wow. I don't know if I would go that far. I would say maybe four, four stars. Okay. Maybe we should split the difference. And four and a half stars. Four and a half. Yeah. Great. Possibly in the future we'll taste like a 85 star wine and that'll put Whoa. this to shame. I look forward to that day. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> the only marks that I will say it gets down Let's move to four stars, actually, because I think we should take off some marks for the vagueness mm -hmm. of the label and the poor quality of the label, because there's already, like, red wine stains all over it. Right. And it was, like, printed at a Kinko's, yeah. you know. Yeah, what is that? I think it's supposed to be a quail, because it's quail oak vineyards. But what is the quail sitting on? It's like, like a, a pillar. Column yeah, like a column. Of some sort. But the quail appears like to be... there's, like, some shit in the background, like a... Tornado there appears to be a hurricane or tornado <laughs> in the background. Also, the quail appears to be teal and magenta colored. So the home printer that they were using should need some toning. Yeah, new cartridges. But it's I definitely no from somewhere in America. According but yeah, to the so this says it's bottle. bottled there. Right. But not that it's grown there. So the grapes could come from anywhere, anywhere, any year, we don't know. Maybe they're from New Jersey. Maybe. Maybe they're from Australia. No, America. For now, I think this is one of the best things that we've tasted so far. Mm -hmm. Four stars. Four stars. For an under $5 wine, this is really good. Don't pour it down the drain. Mm -hmm. We don't find a lot of reds where we would want to drink it outside, but... Yeah, I think but this I is think a summer this red. Good. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And we're outside. What does this make you want to eat? Cheese. 
I always want cheese, but this actually doesn't make me want a cheese. Hmm. Okay. Maybe some cheddar jack. That's or like cheese. the not no.